Hey Drone Nerds, Matt here. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to set up a mapping mission for the EBX by Ag Eagle using the eMotion flight software. Ag Eagle makes it really easy to plan missions for the EBX. In the eMotion software, first we're going to name the mission that we're going to plan. I chose this port at Lake Okeechobee that feeds the freshwater down the canals. A great benefit to this software is the user interface is really intuitive. We're going to be doing a mapping mission with the EBX, and for this demonstration, we'll be using the simulator in eMotion. The first thing we need to do is set up the working area. This is going to create a boundary for the drone for the aircraft to operate in. Once you select Place Working Area, you can click anywhere in the map and begin creating your mission. You can see here, this is a boundary that we're giving the drone where it has to operate in. You can change the size of the radius of this working area to best suit your mission. You can see here, I have the altitude set below 400 feet because we want to stay within FAA regulations. A nice feature of the eMotion software is right in the application, it shows you the current weather. Next, we're going to designate takeoff and landing spots for the aircraft. Under the aircraft parameters tab, under takeoff, click add new start to pick a spot where the drone will take off. We're going to place our takeoff spot at the edge of our working area here because I know that there's no highway traffic that's going to interfere with our mission. And you can see right away we have a warning that says that the takeoff is too close to the working area boundary. So all we have to do is just click the center of our takeoff location and move where we'd like the aircraft to take off. Next, under landing, we'll click add new home point and this is the area the drone will come in for a landing. We're going to choose linear landing because the approach for the landing spot is relatively clear. We're going to place the landing spot in proximity of the takeoff area, so once the mission is done, we don't have to walk a long ways to recover the aircraft. Here you can see I'm changing the angle of the cone that the aircraft will come in for a landing. We want to make sure that that cone is on the land, so there's no chance that the aircraft could fall in the water. Once we have that set, we're ready to start building our mission. Today, we'll be doing a mapping mission of this dam that feeds fresh water from Lake Okeechobee into the St. Lucie River. Under Blocks, we're going to click Add Mission Block, and this is where we'll begin building our mapping mission. We're going to be doing a 2D mapping mission, so we'll select Horizontal Mapping for this application. Click around the area you would like the drone to gather data. For this mission, we just want to focus on the dam itself, so I'm going to make a square and build the mission out of that. Once you've created the square or polygon for the area you would like the aircraft to get data from, if you right click, it'll show you the flight path that the aircraft will travel. We need to connect to an aircraft to fly this mission. In real life, this is where you would connect your aircraft to the software. But in this scenario, we're going to use the simulation feature for the eMotion software. You can see here, you have the option to connect your drone or start a simulation. We'll select start a simulation and you'll see the aircraft's location appear on the map. It's going to go through its pre-flight checks to make sure that it's ready for the mission. Now, once you have your aircraft connected to the software, you need to write the mission to the aircraft by clicking this arrow here. Once we wrote the mission to the aircraft, you'll see I got an error here that says mission is out of working area. This is a simple fix. We'll just adjust our working area so that the aircraft is within those boundaries. We're going to click the inner circle of our working area and you can see there's a dot in the middle that lets you move the overall working area. And now that we have that adjusted, you'll see that our error goes away. Here, there's a list of safety actions you can give the aircraft as well. So if anything happens during the mission, the aircraft will return home. In the settings tab under camera selection, we'll be able to choose our photogrammetry payload. In today's mission, we're going to be using the SODA photogrammetry payload. Before we launch the aircraft to start the mission, we're just gonna check our mission parameters one more time. We can see here under camera, we have the SODA photogrammetry payload. We will be gathering data with a resolution of 1.02 inches per pixel with a latitude overlap of 60% and a longitude overlap of 60% as well. Under flight altitude, 
were under 400 feet above ground level, staying within FAA regulations. The photogrammetry mission will consist of 67 photos, and the estimated flight time is 8 minutes and 30 seconds. There's 30 waypoints in this flight mission, and if you click Show Waypoints, you can see those on the screen. We'll keep them off just to keep this mission looking simple. You can see here we have 100% battery with 100% link quality as well. The aircraft is linked with eight satellites, and when we're ready to launch the aircraft, we're going to click Simulate the Takeoff. This is when you would launch the aircraft into the air, and it will begin the mission. If you click the View icon here, you can adjust the view of the mission to see a different perspective of where the drone's flying. Seeing it in 3D here gives you a little bit better perspective of how the mission is going to take place. The drone will take off, do a few circles to gain altitude, and then begin the mission. You can see here, every time the aircraft takes a photo, it will be marked on the mapping mission. The eMotion software makes it really easy to monitor the aircraft while it's on its mission. You can see in the top right here, we've taken four photos so far as the drone completes its first pass. As the drone completes the mapping mission and gathers data, I'm going to speed this up a little bit in post. Once the drone completes the last leg of the photogrammetry mission, it's going to descend in a circular pattern and then approach the landing area. And now it's going to begin its landing procedure. Once the aircraft makes a safe landing, it will reinitialize for the next mission. You can see in our post-flight analysis, the entire mission, including takeoff and landing, took us 11 minutes and 11 seconds. You can also see it took 69 photos, and now we can take that data and process it with photogrammetry software. The aircraft completed the mission with a battery level of 79%. So this aircraft had a lot more battery left to do another mapping mission or expand out to a larger mapping mission. Overall, the eMotion software for flight mission planning with the EBX by Ag Eagle makes the mission planning really simple and intuitive. If you have any questions on setting up a flight mission for the EBX by Ag Eagle using the eMotion software, go ahead and put those questions down in the comments. Also, be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell to see all of our latest Drone Nerds content. My name is Matt, happy flying.